Hi guys, Mark Wood here. I've just had a question come in via Facebook from a, a golfer and he's asking me why do I thin my wedge shots? Now, the, there's two main common reasons as to why I see people thinning their wedge shots. And the first reason is they have a narrowing of the swing radius. And what I mean by that is, at the address position, our arms start in a nice long straight position. Now ideally through a good wedge swing, whether it's a, a full swing or a little half swing, when you swing, ideally you're going to be keeping your hands the same distance away from your chest that you started with. So the left arm's going to be nice and straight, you swing down into a nice straight left arm position and the arm will extend through as you go through. Now with golfers who thin their wedges, you either see a the arms bending in the backswing, and if they do that as they swing down, they're going to start to extend their arms out, and instead of hitting the ground heavy, they pull their arms back in. So the swing radius gets very narrow as they go through the strike, almost as though they're trying to help the ball in the air. And secondly, it's a poor weight distribution. Make a good backswing, the weight then goes onto the back foot, the left side starts to extend up too early, and again, you just pull the club up very, very quickly away from the ground as you're going through the impact area. Almost as though the low point of the swing is happening too far behind the ball and the club's coming straight up into the back of the, the golf ball that, you know, the leading edge is just catching it thin. So if we look at the first one, a, a really good drill, get yourself a, a, a squishy ball, this is an impact ball, about the size of a grapefruit, and then what I want you to do from there is place the ball in between your elbows. And that is going to force your arms to stay nice and straight and wide. So you make your normal setup, just little half swings. It's very hard to bend your arms when you've got a ball in place. So this forces you to keep your arms a lot straighter. So nice long arms into the backswing, long arms at impact, long arms as you go through. So this is what it looks like on a strike. Nice long arms back and through. I recommend that you sort of practice with that hitting some shots, getting the feeling of what it feels like with your arms in a more extended position. And the second one, where you force the weight onto the back foot and you start pulling the club up away from the ground, a real good simple drill and tip for you is you make yourself setup, lift your right heel up off the ground, and this forces the majority of your weight onto your left side, so the right heel gets lifted up, the weight forces onto that left side, and then from there you swing back and through. And that really forces you to keep the weight onto the left side. You can't go onto that right foot where you start to pull the club away from the ground. Hope this little tip helps you. Um, please post your comments below in the box, give the video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's completely free. And uh, once again, thanks for watching the video.